Hello everyone, welcome to my channel urmeshaduworld.com and today I'm going to explain how to exclude the weekends and get you the business days only. So before we move further uh, to create a calculated field and do the, all the calculation on the tableau, I want to explain what and how this weekdays are being represented in tableau in the form of numbers and what are those numbers. So let's go and check this sheet. So based on the sheet, I have uh, I have created two of uh, columns, weekday number and the weekday. The weekday from Sunday to Saturday. Sunday has been uh, referred as one, Saturday as in seven, and rest of the days, if you see, it's been from two to six, have been um, from Monday to Friday. They are the weekdays. So for us in in doing any kind of a calculation on Tableau, we have to exclude this number one and seven. That's how Tableau is understanding. So let's create this uh, calculated field here. So go on analysis, click on create calculated field. And here I'm going to first show you what are the number that is defining the calculated, uh, this calculated weekday. So weekday. So for this, I'm, uh, we have to use date part. This date part will fetch the number uh, of that weekday uh, from the date and time field. So here, uh, here is a, in the date part, you have to mention weekday. And from which uh, uh, field you have to fetch, that you have to mention. So here for us is a this field, uh, this date and date time. So for this date and time, I'm going to mention here and close it with the parenthesis. So that's how. Just click on apply, OK, and drag it over to this row. As this is represented right now in a continuous form, I'm going to create, uh, make it to discrete. And from discrete, I want it in an attributed value, so it will give you the number. Otherwise, discrete value will give the summation because maybe more number of uh, values will be there or some or other way. So what exactly you have to do is to create in an attributed format. And here, now you can see the 14th of January has been represented with a 6. 18th of January is with 3. 20th of January is with pi. Similarly, if you see for 7, it's 15th of January by 7. 22 of January by uh, as represented as 7. So what are those numbers? So if you, uh, uh, if you compare it with the sheet, you can see the 7 has been represented as in Saturday. 3 with the Tuesday, 5 with the Thursday. Similarly, the other numbers. So this is what we can say it's a it's a number representation. Now, as our task is to exclude the weekend. So to create for this, you have to create a new calculated field here. And I'm going to name it as exclude weekend. And just we have to fetch the business days. So business days from Monday to Friday. So here use if and else statement if date part is weekday and uh, uh, from the date and time field that's a um, and if it is a one or date part weekday date and time is equal to 7 then this is called as weekend else weekday end it's so simple this is in a string format what you will do is if you if you just first before doing any kind of a filtration we just have to check whether it is correct or not yes it's correct seven represent as a week weekend six three five all these other weekdays so yeah we are correct so what we do is take this exclude field in a filter and as we want just a business day so i'm going to click it on a weekday so hit on apply okay see so now you are just going to get the exact only the weekday number weekday numbers or you can say if i'll just take uh, here and drag uh, pull it to the rows as well again 
so you can see only the weekdays are there so this is how you can exclude the weekends and get you the business days if you like my video then do like share and subscribe to my channel and thank you so much for watching and uh, please write the comments down below i really appreciate uh, uh, your comments um, and thank you so much